Hello and welcome back to GIS Tube. In the previous video, I have shown you how to uh, prepare these factors or uh, thematic layers and how to reclassify them for the uh, groundwater potential zone mapping using GIS and remote sensing integrated with multi criteria analysis and uh, AHP approach. AHP approach. Therefore, uh, I have already de uh, developed six thematic, la six, uh, thematic layers or six inflation factors uh, for identification or for mapping of groundwater potential zones. So there is soil, there is geology, there is rainfall, there is slope, there is drainage density and the aim of course the main source of data that derives other source other uh, data types like that of the density and the slope and the final one is land use land cover of uh, the study area so uh, therefore uh, today i will show you the second part of this uh, tutorial how to uh, combine these uh, factors or these thematic layers for driving uh, or for mapping groundwater potential zones of my study area using automatic generating excel sheet during this time you have to uh, but you have to you have to use background checkers uh, uh, available literature uh, research for other uh, similar research findings uh, and expert judgments for uh, a comparison of each uh, type of uh, variables with another therefore what we have uh, going to do is just go to our toolbox go to spatial analysis tools then overlay then weighted overlay so we have to add all these uh, parameters for this uh, for uh, classification or for uh, mapping of groundwater uh, potential zones with uh, these six parameters but we don't have uh, we don't have uh, the influence factors or the weight factors so in order to produce this weight influence of weight of each pa each parameters we have to go to this automatic excel sheet and as you can see here is that this is as you can see here this is n which is the number of criteria in my case it is six six criteria and this one by default you can leave it and the first one for example is uh, drainage density drainage density the second one is here, here is that for example let us rainfall the slope land is land cover so the second one is rainfall rainfall the third one is the slope the fourth one is land is land cover the fifth one is soil soil and the final one is geology geology so we have get the weights of similar values because we don't uh, uh, compare each variables with their uh, value of importance with their uh, each other uh, as you can see here is that parameter selector to use to control groundwater potential zones it is a pairwise comparison matrix so the one uh, two nine scale of parameter significance as you can see here is that string of significance and their associated explanation for example one means equal significance three means immediate significance five means strong seven means very strong significance nine maximum uh, significance so therefore two four six and eight are in drive numbers between two adjacent numbers so a provides matrix for the analytic approach based on uh, based groundwater potential zone is our main objective or our uh, target our target therefore as you can see here is that rainfall geology the associated uh, weather factor and as i see the matrix consistency so let us return back to this excel and go to this uh, line one so automatically it is already inserted uh, when we when you uh, when you write in the first uh, part of criterion then it will be automatically 
uh, inserted in uh, the second uh, the second sheet which is line one for their comparison therefore uh, at this stage we have to have careful that we have to compare parameters each other therefore uh, please compare the importance of the elements in relation to the objective and feel uh, in the table which element of each pair is more important a or b this means a or b which is more important and available scale one to nine uh, a and as given below once completed you might adjust highlighted uh, comparisons one to three to improve consistency therefore there may be uh, improve of results based on based on revision as i told you uh, here the main objective is to derive the the weighted influence or the weighted parameters therefore now let us compare each um, for example uh, which one is important a or b as i told you drainage against these four parameters drainage against rainfall which one is most important high drainage density is developed in mountainous areas yes therefore drainage density so a is more important uh, let us go to three yeah uh, in uh, in real cases or in research papers we have to support based on evidences therefore drainage density against the slope so drain density is more important than the slope let me give uh, to five okay great so drainage density against land land line green intensity okay three green intensity against soil so green intensity yes the three means as you can see here is that moderate importance one is equal importance so green intensity against soil uh, let me give to uh, as uh, five strong importance drainage against uh, density against the geology uh, equal importance just give us equal importance and the second one is rainfall against the slope so rainfall against the slope rainfall is more important than slope let me give us nine nine is very extreme importance therefore land is land cover rainfall against land is land cover obviously rainfall is extremely important rainfall is uh, more important so let me give to five rainfall against soil so rainfall against geology rainfall is more important it is five Oh, three let me give three so slope against land is land cover slope is important mm, equal importance let's say slope against soil so slope moderate important let me give three the slope against geology so equal importance and the, this comparison is land to land cover with soil in the geology. Okay. Land to land cover with soil equal importance. And land to land cover against geology. It is mirror rate importance. Yes. Great soil against geology, so soil against geology. It is equal importance. So as we can see here, there is a uh, assessing matrix consistency. Consistency ratio is less than 0 0.05 for S3 times 3 matrix. 0 0.09 for a 4 4 matrix that means 4 4 matrix means 4 rows and 4 columns and 0 0.14 large matrix if we have uh, 
larger than uh, 4 to 4 matrix we have to have uh, so a consistency ratio must be uh, must be 0 0.1 and uh, around that so the principal again value uh, this uh, maximum represents a function of the matrix uh, divergence from consistency and as we would say parallel matrix is considered consistency when when mass is equal or more than that of the layers examined so consistency matrix is equal to maximum minus n that is uh, the uh, default value and any uh, observation that is uh, 6 minus uh, 1. So, where uh, WJ represents the normalized vector of J parameter, whereas XI refers the weight of the class of the parameters, M denotes the number of the parameters. Yes, and Z denotes number. So, for each degree, the groundwater potential zone was computed. So, after we have uh, already computed, we will have low, moderate, high, and very high. If you have five uh, classifications, there will be uh, low, very low, and uh, etc. type of categories will be applied. So uh, now let us return back to this one. Yeah. So our weights will be this one. This one. So now let us back, return back to click on weight overlay. Set example drainage density okay and the second one is from this the rainfall so the second one is uh, rainfall the third one is a slope The first one is so let us use this keep uh, land land cover so in the geology so let us press so it geology okay geology Okay, and the final one is land is land cover. Give it one, two, three, four, five, six. Now let us uh, insert zero values. All these influence uh, all these uh, weights uh, should become with uh, 100%. Some of the influence must come to with 100%. For example, drainage density. What is the weight of the drainage density from this calculation? Here is that drainage density is 29.9. .9. So this does not accept the uh, decimal number, so 29.9. 20 let us insert 30 and the second one rainfall 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 38.2 let us insert 38 38 the third one slope The slope 8.4, let us insert 8. Yes. The third one soil. So 6.2. Let's make it a 6. The first one, children and land use. Seven point four. Seven point four. Let us make us eight and this one ten. Term of influence becomes hundred, which is correct. Now the evaluation scale must be 
one to five one by one okay great so therefore now let us go to uh, influence 30 great so value this one the scale value this one so the scale value for range density so high drainage density is developed in mountainous areas therefore in mountainous areas uh, in mountainous areas uh, it is uh, the uh, five means uh, largest scale so let us mix this as five yes four three Two, and the last one becomes one. Okay, a rainfall. So the rainfall, the uh, highest the rainfall, the lowest the rainfall, the lowest uh, uh, groundwater potential zone, that means one, and the highest one becomes one, two. Okay, this makes this three. Let me make this as four. And let me make this as five. Great. Slope. So slope flat and gentle slopes have uh, great potential zones, whereas in mountainous areas and steep slopes has low uh, potential zones. So therefore, uh, one means the in, in terms of percentage of slope gentle and plant slope so uh, this has more potential to ground zone mapping in in, in scale values of uh, five it is high and four uh, five very high maybe and four high and uh, like hierarchies has been uh, assigned for uh, values therefore in gentle and uh, in the flat areas, high potentiality. Okay, so soil. Parameter soil, so therefore sandy soils have low runoff rate and low uh, groundwater potential zones. And in uh, in our case, let me may check this. So in this pellet vertical soils, lipto soils, nitro soils, cambi soils, vertical soils, dubi soils. So therefore, uh, it is a good arrangement for this case. Uh, I will. Uh, accept as for example uh, one two number two and number uh, five great five and this one five okay great and geology in my case have uh, already one type of geology so therefore it is distinct type of uh, geology who, which has a uh, moderate uh, uh, moderate amount of rainfall so therefore let me assign as four and the final one is land use land cover in forest and agricultural land runoff is less and infiltration is high low class of high groundwater potential zones therefore uh, in my case one means let us see here you press open attribute table okay one means vegetation so therefore high potentiality and two means water body it is high potentiality high potentiality uh, and uh, three means agriculture it's four potentiality and four means pale land more potentiality, low potentiality of groundwater in beer lands. There is less probability of occurrence of potential mapping zones. And uh, the fifth one, 
is also settlements in settlement areas. There is a disturbance of groundwater potential zones and the value of groundwater potential zone is less and is less. So we have successfully assigned values for each factors and now click OK. Great. So this is the result according to this value low, moderate, high, very high. So it, it is uh, low. Moderate. high very high very high great apply okay so this is the final groundwater potential zone maps so therefore uh, let me rename it as ground and water okay yeah zone ground water potential zone so let me click on ground water potential zone and open attribute table so add and field area area in hectare Yes, table, and the second one is percentage, percentage, table, okay, great, now let us calculate, click on area hectare, just click on field calculator, area hectare is equals count times what is a pixel? Okay, first let me know the resolution or the pixel source source of 162 by 162 meters. So firstly you should have uh, arrange your uh, resolution or special resolution into one uh, uh, common uh, one common resolution for example in this case 162 meter resolution so right click with the calculator area hectare is equal to count times count times 162 times 162 divided by 10,000 10,000 gives rise to yes great so now let us calculate the percentage first go to statistics and take the sum of all values copy go to percentage right click on percentage go to fill the calculator let this one percentage is equal to area hectare divided by the sum of all areas times 100 yeah. great 53 percent 35 percent 9 percent and 1.7 percent of ground potential zone availability has been found in uh, my study area in order to be fully understood by uh, the readers, your map should be uh, your map should have um, basic map elements. So go to layout. Go to layout and arrange all parameters. All parameters, for example, 
Let us with this one. Yes. Great. Okay. Let me okay, great. So let us export up, export, export map, groundwater. Water potential zone. See triangle water potential zone. So exporting is I have exported in terms of JPG. You can export in terms of PDF or what you like, what you want to like. But JPG is the most suitable one. Now let us check our result. Great, great map has been developed. So uh, this is uh, the second and the final uh, part of groundwater potential zone mapping by using JS and remote sensing integrated with multi criteria analysis, uh, considering various multi factors for determining groundwater potential zones in combination with HP approach. Therefore, uh, thank you for watching.